Good morning, folks. The observers have arrived in the desert where we will be for the next month. In addition to the limb activity you see here, we're going to peek in on the entire space weather situation, some new NASA animations, the last day of expected calm before upticks begin, and our friendly wind map friends at the caboose. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and find yet another calm day. Our star, ready to slumber. SDO eclipses, still ongoing, unfortunately. Solar flaring, about what you'd expect as we head for a minimum activity period, and the sunspots do not look much better. Small, some growth here or there, but nothing complex or interacting in any way. Might have some more incoming if you believe the umbral magnetic fields cresting over the limb. Two to three days ago, the large leading bulk of the corona hole swung past the Earth-facing position, and while it did not directly aim at Earth, the stream outskirts are delivering a shockwave and subsequent speed and plasma temperature rise indicative of the IMF influence, albeit a minor one at best. Quakewatch.net, we find that the sunspot number did indeed bottom out officially, so with the equatorial tail of the corona hole facing Earth today, I expect the magnitude 6 earthquakes to return just about any time now. Two new animations from NASA's Scientific Visualization Studio here. On the 2014 run detecting atmospheric chemicals in the ozone associated with fires, the data collected was meant to be run backwards via computer modeling to see where it came from. They were able to determine that two fires in southern Asia and another in Africa were jointly responsible for the mixture of chemicals they found. Also got a great El Nino comparison between 1997 and 2015. Many similarities in the El Nino events, but also the sharper changes this time round. Both videos found at Goddard's SVS page. Folks, there's a lot of cosmic ray chatter in the heliophysics community, and since Dr. Phillips mentioned the heart attack risk from cosmic rays, might I suggest that members at suspiciousobservers.org click premium and then scroll down to humans and electromagnetism, humans and EM. It's not just heart attacks, but seizures, headaches, strokes, birth rates, infant mortality, pregnancy rates, crime rates, depression, anxiety, and that barely scratches the surface, all affected by energy from space. We've got pressure and radar forecasts in the top viewer locations, followed by current global conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the Valley of the Sun, and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.